Shalom, everyone. I'm Pastor Scott Villain with Holy Impact Ministries, and I'm coming to you today to encourage you this year in 2020 to get out and to vote. I know that many of our misguided brothers and sisters have a very different view of whether or not to vote or to be involved in the affairs of politics, but I can assure you that the creator of the heavens and the earth is not exempt from the politics of mankind. To remove our Father in Heaven from the affairs of men is to remove our Father in Heaven from the hearts of men. You can rest assured that our Father in Heaven is indeed watching the affairs of mankind here upon this earth. And you can rest assured that our Father in Heaven is watching to see who it is that turns to the right and who it is that turns to the left. Throughout the halls of history, our Father in Heaven has always been involved in the politics of men. From the very beginning of, our, of time, our Father in Heaven gave us a perfect government. Our Father in Heaven gave us a perfect way to set up our judicial system, and He gave us a perfect way to abide by these things. And although the judicial system that we have today is a far cry from the judicial system that our Father in Heaven had once given us, there should be no doubt in anyone's mind that the Creator of the heavens and the earth has blessed the United States of America, far and above and beyond all nations on the face of the earth. It is written that we are right now involved in a spiritual warfare, and I would submit to you that the United States of America has been involved in this same spiritual warfare from its inception. There have always been evil men pining for power and glory within the government of the United States of America, just as in every other nation. And even its founding fathers have been found to be at times weighed and wanting. And yet, the United States of America has been blessed because of those who have fought against tyranny and those who have fought against wicked principalities that do indeed sit in high places. This spiritual warfare has been going on from the beginning of time. And this spiritual warfare will continue to go on even after the return of our Messiah during his 1,000-year millennial reign. But that spiritual warfare will indeed end at the end of our Messiah's 1,000-year millennial reign, when the devil and death are finally conquered over and put away by the one true Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Until that time, you and I were born for such a time as this. We were set on the world stage at this very moment to stand for what is right, and to be the salt of the earth, and to be the voice of Yahovah and His only begotten Son. The murder of millions of children depends on your vote this season. The wickedness of mankind knows no bounds, and we are not voting for a pastor, we're not voting for a priest, We're not voting for a new Messiah. We are simply voting for a man who will stand for life and will work to stop the innocent murder of millions of children in this country. If that alone is not worth voting for, then I don't know what is. As a true God-fearing, Messiah-following, cross-bearing Christian, we are bound to stand in the name of our Messiah and to do all that we can to bring peace upon the earth. In some nations, there is no vote. In some nations, there is no duty to vote. In some nations, there is no privilege to vote. But here in the United States of America, by the hand of Yahovah himself, our Father in Heaven has given us this privilege and this duty to stand for what is right and to have a voice to speak out against what is wrong and what is wicked. Our Father in Heaven not only judges us individually, but he also judges us corporately. He judges us not only for the things that we have done, but also for the things that we have not done. Today, it is not only our privilege, but our duty as God-fearing, Messiah-following, cross-bearing Christians to make a move, to stand, to let our voices be heard, and to vote. My hope and my prayer is that the will of our Father in heaven will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And there is no doubt in my mind that the will of our Father in heaven is done through his children. Take the time this year in 2020. Let your voice be heard. 
to let your light shine and to be the light on the hill that you are called to be. I'm Pastor Scott Villain with Holy Impact Ministries. Thank you so very much for your precious time.